naked shamanism. Welcome to With Insights Radio. I'm your host, Iggy Garcia. I will take you on a journey across well, the Good universe. afternoon, everybody. In shamanism, Iggy metaphysical, Garcia here. and holistic. So your sit back and relax and enjoy the Drumming show. Drumming Panda. Just wanted to say hi. I haven't seen you guys or talked to you guys too much. I've been kind of I've been doing my little thing here in private, kind of working on myself. Um, the last four months, actually going on five months now, have been pretty, um, pretty interesting. Kind of working through the process of healing and process of working on my personal self uh, in order for me to be able to work with others and help them find their path. Hi, how are you, Willow? Good to see you. And, um, you know, you have to uh, work on you too. So a lot of you have probably seen a lot of the, um, memes that I've posted. Hey, Denise, how are you? You've probably seen all these memes that I've posted. Okay, these memes are are just things for me to help me motivate myself and get myself in that right frame of mind. And hopefully maybe somebody else resonates with it, maybe not. But um, it's mostly for myself. Most of the time, most of our timelines are for us to share our stories about who, how we're feeling in that moment or what we need to work on or just to share. But either way, hey, Darlene, how are you? I want to say hi, everybody. I'm not trying to ignore anybody there. But yeah, I've just been kind of trying to, you know, re-gauge and recalibrate and realign myself uh, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and all, all that comes with that. Because it's so easy to um, get caught up in, in life. Life is something that can just suck you away if you're not careful. And um, But that's how it is, right? Hey, Tani, how are you? But what I've been working on is me. Working on the aspects of, uh, you know, the light and the dark aspects of myself because we both everybody has those we have uh, good days and we have bad days and sometimes the good days outweigh the bad days and some days the bad days outweigh the good days but either way <clears throat> what i've been doing is just trying to just trying to get grounded and trying to get back into the my my own rhythm of myself and trying to add to this new rhythm of being um myself without my parents with you know without you know that connection and that bond even though it's 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 not severed it's just changed and it's different so for me it's one of those things just trying to find you know who I am in the in the process of the family how I fit and even though I'm the oldest of all the kids you still have to find you know where you fit in in the process because now the process is different the process is not just because you're oldest and by default you are the leader of the family the king of the family no it doesn't work that way Okay, and I'm aware of that. And Western cultures, you know, you know, doesn't work like that. And, you know, maybe in other cultures, the oldest does become the 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 patriarch. Um, for me, I'm probably more more of a, you know, just a patriarch in the sense of just because I'm the oldest. But other than that, no, you earn you earn the right to be the leader of your family. You earn the right to be that person. And when you do, you don't just fall into that place. This isn't a kingdom. You know, where automatically I am the king of the, of the Garcia clan. No, it doesn't work like that. But the thing is, what I'm trying to say is I am working on me as much as my siblings are probably working on themselves. We haven't really had a lot of communication, even though we we talk and we work together. They're in their place. They're in their minds. They're in wherever they're feeling and the emotions they're going through. And uh, I just keep doing the work that I'm doing through drumming, you know, through meditation, through the things that I'm doing. And I took a break. For a lot of you probably wonder where I've been or where I've been hiding or what's been going on. I decided that I needed to go back and look at everything that I've been doing for the last, you know, let's say 10 years. That's kind of where I've been. You know, was it positive? Was it productive? Has it helped me? And uh, yes, I'd have to say yes to all of that. Have, could I have done things differently with other in another way? I would have to say yes. I could have done a lot different. I could have approached things much differently. But you don't know until you actually walk down that road. You know, until you actually walk down that path. And when you're actually engaged in the things that you're doing every day. Uh, you know, we try to, you know, just work and be able to do the things that we do. And enjoy life and the beautiful bounties of it. And, you know, that's that's something that I've been trying to do and I've been trying to work. I haven't really been really in the mood to do too much. I've just kind of been in the mood to just kind of be where I need to be. You know, so I like where I need to be. Sometimes it's just being by myself. I enjoy my alone time. I, I get a lot done. I get a lot accomplished. I don't have to um, 
you know, I could go out there and just be, you know, commingling every minute. But alone time comes to a place where you don't want to be alone anymore. You have to find, you know, you know, community. You have to find, you know, your family. You have to find the things that, you know, center you. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm, I'm, I'm working my way through the maze and the puzzles and the things of my mind. And working through the emotions and the feelings. And um, I'll tell you. If you have your parents and you have a good relationship with your parents and you have them with you, appreciate them because you know what? When they're gone, they're gone. And I'm not trying to be morbid here and I'm trying to be, you know, dark or anything, but you know, when they're when they're not with you anymore, or any any love per, any person that you love dearly that you're close to your heart and they're not no longer with you, it's a terrible feeling. It's a terrible feeling because you know, you wish you could reach out to them, and you wish you could say something to them. And you wish sometimes, and you know, I, I don't want to play, you know, the what if game, but sometimes you wish you would have just said one more thing and you wish that you would have given them one more hug. <clears throat> you would have given them one more kiss or made them one more meal or just helped them one more time or answered the phone when they called you or, you know, return a text when they text you. You know, those are the things that kind of, I don't want to say haunt me, but they kind of, they linger in my mind, you know. They linger in your mind a little bit. They're in the background. You know, man, I should have answered that phone that day, you know. Because, you know, we live through life. We go through life going, ah, I'll do it tomorrow. Ah, this person, blah, blah. And this person, oh, you know, we ignore, you know. It's, it's okay if you're in that place, you have to ignore somebody. You don't want to talk to them. That's fine. But, you know, I have some recordings of my my dad and my mom, you know, from them when they call me on my phone. And I play it back. And, it, you know, and it brings you know, tears to my eyes a little bit because it's like they wanted to talk to me. They wanted to reach out to me. They wanted to say hi. They wanted to uh, approach me and engage me. And, you know, for some reason in that moment, I was either busy or didn't feel like it. You know, I'm human being too. You know, I'm flawed. I have my issues and my problems, but, but it does. I do remember, you know, I wish I would have picked up that phone one more time. You know, things are just, you know, we're navigating now and we're trying to work through this process of being without parents so like i said if you have parents and you truly are engaged with them and they're important to you and you know they're not the parents that you've had you know <clears throat> issues with you know some people have issues with their parents and i get that but i do have to give my parents credit no matter what 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 it, whatever it is they gave me life you know if that's all that i can thank them for is just the sperm and the egg and that's what they gave me then i'm grateful for that but in my case, I'm more grateful than just the sperm and the egg. You know, there was more to it. They raised me. They reared me. They taught me. They showed me. You know, uh, I, I rebelled against them. You know, I was just a human being doing what human beings do. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but, you know, you miss them. So if you have your parents and they, and they mean something to you, your aunts, your uncles, your brothers, your sisters, and they're important to you, I'd recommend you give them a call and say, hey, you know what? I'm just thinking about you, you know? Plus, my friend Iggy is strong-arming me here to <laughs> talk to you. No, I'm just teasing. You know, he's reminding me. Iggy's here reminding me that, you know, the people that we have in our lives may not be there tomorrow. You may not be there tomorrow. I may not be there tomorrow. That's, that's, the, that's something that I've learned in this whole process of everything. That I might not be here tomorrow. You know, we have no guarantee that what when we wake up if or when we go to sleep if we we'll, if that was our last day on earth you know are we doing things that are making a difference in our personal lives and making the uh, difference in other people's lives our children's lives our our kid our, our cousins and nephews and nieces and aunts and uncles everybody that is important to you you know it makes you realize you start to wonder you know you, you start to you don't count the days in the sense of like, oh, I got 20 years to live or 30 years to live, you know, but on the average, you know, I'm 52. So you could add 20 to 30 years. You know, that's that's many years. But you know what? Spirit calls you back when spirit calls you back. You know, the, the earth calls you back. God calls you back when it's time to go. That could be as I'm talking to you on this phone or I step out of this car. You know, we're not we're not guaranteed anything. <clears throat> you know, we go through life thinking that sometimes we're guaranteed all these things we have all these great great plans we're going to do and all these amazing things that we wish we could do and then one day something happens to one of us or something happens to a partner or something happens to a child 
and it changes our lives and then we have to work through this process. I'm not saying that you have to live life on a perfect scale and you don't have to be always in a good freaking mood because it's not, that's not true. That doesn't work that way. But in the back of your little heads, our little heads, our human heads here, our little minds, because we think we're so big and so powerful and so big and so great. We're the only species that is born and can't do anything to defend itself. You know, every species on this planet is ready to live and move. The elephant, the antelope, everything's ready to, to you know, to run from the predator. But human beings, no, man. We're nine months in the wombs and then we're like another two years. You know what? Not even two years. You're talking about five years, eight, maybe eight years until you can actually physically do something and be able to be productive. You know, we're very, very vulnerable species. And that's why we, we have community. That's why we bond together. That's why we, we create these villages and we create all these amazing things. Because, you know, without each other, we don't get too far, you know. But individually, when we come into these collectives, into these little pods and we work together, we can do amazing things. So I'm just reminding you as your friend, as another human being, as another person on this planet is to remember the people who are in your lives. Remember the people who you value, you know, because everybody values somebody. There's somebody that you value sometimes more than yourself. You know, don't take them for granted. Don't think that, you know, that you have them all day. You, like I said, you may not be here in the next five minutes. You may not be here tomorrow or next week. You personally let alone the person who's older than you or the person in front of you or behind you. You know, that's the illusion that we, we that we're, you know, we're infinite in the sense of physicality. No, we're infinite in the sense of spirituality and where we're, our spirit roams and does whatever it does. But when our physical body is gone, when we're out of this container, it's done, it's over. It's complete. This particular existence is no longer, no more. So whatever's important to you, you know, work on that. And I understand sometimes we get stuck in the in the crevices of our minds and in, in, in the deepness of our thoughts. And we get caught in the emotion of sadness and frustration and anger. And you have to waddle through that. You know, you have to think about that. You have to go through that. And I get that. But remember the people who are still alive. Remember the people who are here. Remember the people who love you, people who are with you. They're just waiting for you to say, hey, you know what? I love you. I care about you. Thanks. Thanks for being in my life. You know, sometimes we wait for other people to engage us and to say things to us. Well, I challenge you to be the person that says, hey, you know what? I love you. It's good to be here. And they'll be like, okay, you all right? You sick? No, I just want you to know that I love you and I care about you. I want you to know because you know what? You may never say it to me, but at least I have the opportunity to say it to you that I care about you and I love you. So many of us spend so much time waiting for someone to tell us I love that they love us, okay? And you know what? When you tell somebody how much you feel, how much you care about them, and you say it and then you show it at the same time, it's 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 an amazing gift. You know, we're all on loan to each other. That's that's the thing that we don't understand. We're all on loan to each other. You know, our children are on loan to us. You know, as children, they're little babies and they're little kids and we're supposed to teach them. But then one day they want to leave the nest. For those of you who have kids, you know, and they're ready to go. In relationships are the same way. Partnerships are the same way. You have sometimes people who you've been with for a long time. And then one day, you know what? They decide and they go, thank you. I'm ready to move on. You're probably devastated. You're probably going, oh my God, why are you leaving me? Blah, blah, blah. It's not that. It's not that. It's You get what you need and you move forward. It's not. It's not, it's not a bad thing. We think that, you know, that we've done something wrong. Sometimes we've not done anything. Sometimes it's a blessing when things have to move on and move forward. We just don't see the blessings in those moments. You know, we, we have opportunity to open up into the spaces to work with people and do better. And that's the thing. But either way, that's what I want to tell you guys. All right. You guys have a great, beautiful, wonderful day. Because the only thing I can say is we have a short limited time in our lives to do the things that we need to do and not all the time is uh, allocated in the way of doing things positively but sometimes it's negative but but when we know and we catch ourselves then we're in a good place then we're in a good place so go out 
make a difference in other people's lives because when you make a difference in their lives, you're actually you're making a difference in your personal life. You're actually making the difference. And when you make and you make the first steps, you take the first steps forward to do something better for somebody, you're going to do great. If you're going to wait for somebody else to do something for you, you're going to wait. You're going to be waiting forever. You know, because the person next to you is waiting for you to do something and you're waiting for the person next to you to do something. And then, you know what? No one ever does anything. We're all standing there all going, well, I wish they would have said something or I wish he would have said something. But you know what? And it doesn't happen that way. It doesn't happen that way. And these are my thoughts. <clears throat> this is how my mind rolls. So anything that I've said today, you don't have to do any of it. They're just suggestions. They're just observations. Sometimes I, I screw up. You know, sometimes I get it right. And sometimes I screw it up. And sometimes I get it right. 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 And sometimes I just screw it up. But you know what? They're not really screw ups. They're just learning moments. <clears throat> They're character building moments. They're moments that, you know, make you think about, all right, maybe I should do something different. If you're getting the same results over and over and over and they're positive, good. And if you're getting the same results over and over and over and they're negative, then you got some tweaking to do. You know, part of being human, part of being alive is understanding that we're going to fall. That we're, we got to get back up. How long we fall and how long we stay down is really up to you. I don't like staying down too long because it doesn't feel good. It doesn't taste good. It doesn't smell good. And it's awfully lonely down there. Okay, for me personally. But the biggest thing is believe believe that you can. Believe that you can because belief is huge. When you believe that you can do something and some everybody's telling you can't and then you succeed in doing it, it's just proof that you're that, that you can be done. You know, we all talk about the secret. We all talk about all these amazing things that, you know, you know, manifestation and stuff. Well, manifestation starts when you're starting to vibrate in the frequency and the direction you want to go. So when you take the first steps to manifest into the direction you want to be, that's manifestation. Manifestation doesn't happen, <clears throat> you know, by osmosis where you just something's just rubbing up against you. Manifestation creates and happens when you take the first steps, you speak the first words. Because if you don't speak it and if you don't take those steps, nothing absolutely happens except for whatever is happening in that moment, in that time, in that place and space. So if you're happy where you're at, kudos to you. If you're unsatisfied with your life, well, take the first steps. You're going to have to figure out what those first steps are. You're going to have to figure out exactly what that means to move myself forward, move yourself forward. And you know, for some of us, it's going to be very uncomfortable. And for some of us, it could be heartbreaking. And for some of us, it could be the most amazing liberation of life in the most expansuating moment that ever happened to us. You know, the thing is, we believe that others are here to save us. And I don't think that we believe it. I think that we believe that other people should have utmost respect for our, our decisions. But you know what? Not everybody does. Not everybody will agree with the decisions you make. Not everybody is in alignment with whatever you decide to do. Are you in alignment with other people when they have their decisions to make? Probably not. You know, the biggest thing is that if fear gets in our way, we're very fearful of things that we don't know, or the things we have not seen or we have not been in, engaged in. But I'm here to tell you, take the steps, move forward. Okay, it's just like playing sports, right? Life is the same way, or if, if you're sewing, if you're crocheting, crocheting or knitting, whatever. You don't just come off the bat crocheting, right? There are steps to it. There's little intricate movements that you have to do. There's little ups and downs and swings and rounds. Okay, it's like soccer. I coached soccer for almost 30 years. You, 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 don't, you kick the ball, but that doesn't, that's not productive all the time. Sometimes you have to hold it, pass it, move it, distribute it. Life's the same way. Sometimes we have to pass, sometimes we have to wait. Sometimes we have to take our chance and score, you know, and, and you know, anything that you do, anything that you possibly can possibly do or any hobby that you are involved in can be can attributed to your life experience. Try it. If you have something that you like to do, like, for example, if you like to play video games, OK, put uh, attribute that to your life. How's that affect you? In the game, you have to learn the steps, right? You have to learn the patterns. You have to learn the things that work and the things don't work. Just like I said earlier, crocheting and knitting. Those are examples. Fly fishing. 
everything that you do in your life, all the fun things that you do, you can put that, apply it to your life that you're trying to seek. I challenge you to take that challenge and see how you can apply that to your life that you feel struggling in. How would you move it? So wh that's why we do the things that we do. That's why we do these things to distract us and get us out of our, you know, our ego mind. Because we think that th we think that life has to be a, a different than the way we want to experience life. Experiencing life is a whole different ball game. Okay, so when we're out and playing, that's true experience of life. When we're out working, that's just a version of experience of life. And most of us don't like that. So go out, create experiences, take your hobbies and apply them how you would apply them to your life. Because some of you are really good at your hobbies and some of you are learning to do your hobbies. And they're all steps. They're all little baby steps. Okay? So remember, it's good to be here. All right? And you have to say it. With, you have to say it. You can't just say it. <clears throat> you have to say, it's good to be here. And I'm in a parking lot here at Joanne's Fabric because I have some things to pick up. And people are looking at me. And I don't care. It's good to be here. <laughs> that person's looking at me. It's good to be here because I believe it to be. And when that happens, the universe opens up all the possibilities for me to receive all the good things in life. Okay? So it's good to be here is my mantra. That's what gets me through life. That's what moves me through, especially when I'm not feeling good. And, you know, it just sparks something inside of me when I say that. And you know what? For those of you who know me, that's one of the things that comes out of my mouth almost at every drum circle. Okay? So we have a drum circle. Speaking of drum circles, we have a drum circle uh, 730 at the Reiki Center tomorrow. That is uh, Saturday. And then on Sunday, we have a drum circle at uh, Co Backer House at 2, p 2 p.m. Yeah, for those of you who want to do some grief drumming counseling there. And then uh, Central Ohio Drum Circles, we have a whole list of stuff that we're doing. So keep track with us there. Uh, drum, uh, drum Life Ohio, we're going to be doing some work there. So there's tons of stuff. Look at me at iggygarcia.com. There's a calendar there of all the things that I do, all the places I'll be. You want to hang out with me? You want to hang out and do something? Just give me a call. Give me a buzz. I know a couple of you want to play video games with me uh, and play some Centipede. Uh, I'm good at Centipede, so I'll be whooping somebody. You know, if they think they're going to beat me at Centipede, no one's going to beat me at Centipede. I'm the high score, man. Anyhow, those of you who remember Centipede. But anyhow, guys, you guys have a beautiful Friday. Have a beautiful day. Do your best. Be the best you can be. Be the best version you can be at any given moment. And when you're down, it's say it's good to be here or find some mantra that pulls you out of the ground and gets you moving in the right direction. Be the first person to say something good to somebody else, not wait for somebody else to say something to you. Be the first person to engage to somebody when you're not feeling good. <laughs> You'll try to be me. But uh, anyways, you guys go out there, make a difference in the world because when you make a difference, it changes everything. It's like the butterfly effect, you know? One little gust of wind can change the world. You are the little gust of wind. So go out there and be the little gust of wind, change the world. Because I think some of you have. I think some of you have been the butterfly effect and have affected my life in a very positive way. And things have come back full circle and come back to me. And things have been said. So I find it very beautiful that we all share. So keep sharing. Share your knowledge. Share your heart. Share your spirit. Don't expect anything in return. Just know that it will be returned 10 times in a positive light when you share something beautiful from your heart. So go out there and see. My drums, they travel with me. They're back there. Are ready to rock and roll for this weekend. So you guys have a beautiful weekend. Uh, we'll see each other soon. I'll be online posting pictures and stuff from time to time. And uh, that's, like I said, I got a calendar and I got a big drummy coming up in June. Uh, Alum Creek also. So there's a whole bunch of cool stuff to do. There's a big hike coming up. All right, guys. Peace and love. One, two, three. Stay out of trouble. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right. Peace and love. Good to be here.